everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I am showcasing the Trimming the Tree stamp set this week on my blog. We've got some limited time only matching dies. Um, these are from the Perfect Partners promotion that Stampin' Up! has. Um, it's a great set of dies. It cuts out your trees. It's got all kinds of little um, dies to help decorate your tree. Uh, we're going to use the bows today. Two labels and two planters or a basket and a pot for your for your um, tree. Um, okay, let's get started. I am using the sweetest Christmas designer series paper. It is my favorite in the catalog. It's so cute. But first, let's do our tree. We are going to use a stamparatus. This is two-step stamping, and the stamparatus is going to help you um, get it lined up really well. We're going to start with the bigger tree, and I'm going to do what is called stamping off which means we're going to stamp off the first layer of ink so that when we stamp it on our white cardstock, it's lighter. Ooh, I made a mess of my stamparatus plate. All right, so now I'm going to put my basic white cardstock there and stamp it again without re-inking. All right, so that we have a lighter colored tree. Now let me grab my chamois and clean up my mess. And then we will get our second stamp. And we're gonna line this up. Now, it's kind of hard to see without putting my head in the camera, but you're just gonna move it around until you see those little sections of your stamp, kind of fill in the white sections of the stamped image. This time we're not stamping off, we want this to be darker. There we go. Adds a lot of dimension, doesn't it? All right, we're also gonna stamp our sentiment. And we'll cut that out while we cut out our tree. Peace and joy, we'll put it down here. And then we're gonna also cut out our um, bows and our little basket. So let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. And grab our dies. This outline die will cut our tree. And then we're going to use this oval right here around our words. And then we've got two rows of bows. So we'll get those out. And I'm going to use the basket. I've been wanting one of these for my own Christmas tree. They're so cute. You, it's like a little collar you wrap around the bottom of your tree and it looks like a basket. I'm sure some of you have them. They're so cute. All right, now here's our tree and our sentiment. Put our dies back so we don't lose them. And there are bows. Don't you love it when it just comes out easy like that? Let's see. Now we're going to use our take your pick tool for those bows. It's going to help us handle them easier. Um, we are, let's see, let's get all of our bows ready. You want to use that piercing end of your, of your take your pick tool. And see that the sticky end will pick it up for you. The pokey end we'll poke out the little doodads that we don't want in our bow. Okay. And let's see, we've got two more. Now I have two other projects featuring this bundle. Make sure you hop back over to my blog and grab that free PDF and check out the other two projects. I'm just gonna do some little dots of Tombow. And then I'm gonna pick up my bows with the sticky end of my Take Your Pick tool. My dabs of glue are a little bit too big. Another thing that you can do is use adhesive sheets on the back of your bows. Before you cut them out, put an adhesive sheet behind your cardstock. Well, that will make it a sticker. There we go. 
Okay, so now I have already cut out a little stitched scalloped rectangle and we'll put our, our tree and our planter little basket down here with dimensionals. Let's see, there's a textured side, so make sure you put it down so that the textured side can be seen. And we'll put our tree like that. And then we will get many dimensionals. Hopefully I have them. Yes, here they are. I really like the shape of this stitched oval, long and skinny, and it fits that sentiment perfectly. Okay. Now let's put our card together. I am using real a real red card base and I have cut out, I have a piece of basic white that is three and three fourths by five. And I've cut out a couple of pieces of the designer series paper, the sweetest Christmas VST. They're both three and a half by two and a half. Or maybe two and three fourths, either way. No, maybe they're two and a half. That way we want them to meet in the middle like that. And then we're gonna take this long and skinny piece of craft to put across the middle. It's four inches long. And then we're gonna put this on our card with dimensionals. Like that, and then we'll get another couple of dimensionals. Now, if you don't like the bows, you have other options. The dies have stars, they have ornaments. Um, there's a string of lights even that you can um, stamp across, very cute. But I like the simplicity of these bows, kind of monochromatic look for our card. All right, I'm gonna take a linen thread and just tie a bow across the top. And we are done. This would be a fun Christmas card. And I don't think it would be too difficult if you wanted to make a bunch of them. I always think about how it would be for if you had to make a lot. And I think this is a pretty good choice. All right, you guys, click the link, hop over to my blog. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.